This is the first secondary class. English. Uh, listen to. Make a goal. Make a goal. Listen to preposition uh, preposition plus gerund. Preposition plus gerund. Presented by Abdul Hafi and prepared by teacher Abdullah Hussein. Do you know what are prepositions? What are prepositions? If you remember yesterday, what are prepositions? You can give me example about prepositions. Who can give me example? Welcome back, uh, Sultan. Welcome. Who can give me examples about the this word preposition? Uh, preposition, sorry, prepositions. An example. Yes. yes. Mona, that's not. On. Very good, Allah. Yes. On is an example. What else? And very good. Yes, Sultan, Muna, Basmala. Any preposition? Under, oh, excellent. Good, good, Muna. On, yeah. Ah, very good, Basmala. Yes. These are called prepositions. What about Sultan? Sultan, can you give us one preposition? Sultan, are you with us? Can you hear? Can you hear me, Sultan? Sultan? Okay. Um, okay, we'll continue. So, these called in, under, above, uh, in, on, uh, into, these called, welcome back, uh, Merhan. These called prepositions. Okay. Now we are in slide six. Can you see the slide? Slide six. After, very good, Mona. Yeah. So, the mouse. Can you see the mouse here? Can you see the mouse? Can you see the mouse here? Good. The mouse is standing at the door. The mouse is standing at the door. Okay. Number two. Who can give me sentence? Who can give me sentence using between? Use the preposition between here. Anyone can give, can give me a sentence about this picture? You will say the mouse is standing between books. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yes, they are books. Yeah. The mouse is standing between two books. Or books. Very good. Merham. What about this one? Yes. What about this picture? Yes, they are. So the mouse is, is standing in the elevator. Actually, it is not elevator, but okay, you are right. Your sense is correct. Who can tell me what is this? Who can tell me? No, no problem. It's good to make uh, mistakes, yeah, so that you will learn. The first step to learn new thing, you should make a mistake. It's good. Hmm. So, you can tell me what is this? It's a. Can you read this word here? T e l e p h o n e. Mm, maybe it's not clear. Yeah, I agree with you. Maybe it's not clear. Yeah, exactly. It's a telephone. Yeah, it's a telephone box. So the mouse is. The mouse is, the mouse is, use the preposition, no, no, we are here, so now we are here. The mouse is in the telephone box, yeah, very good, very good, very good. Okay, what about this one? Some of you, behind the sofa, very good, Mona, the mouse is behind the sofa, standing behind the sofa, behind, look, what about here, what about here, this picture? What about this one? 
The mouse is standing under the table. Yeah, he is under. Look, the preposition here is under. The mouse is under the table. Very good, very good, Ala, very good, Mirhan. And the last one, as you said, Sultan, the mouse is standing on the chair. On the chair, uh, Sultan, you mean on here. Very good, Mirhan. The mouse is on the chair. So all these are prepositions. Okay. Now we have also our prepositions here. Um, like here, the mouse is near, is near to the TV. Yeah, near. You can know the meaning of near. The mouse is near to, to, to the TV. The mouse is standing in the front of, exactly, near to the, or you can say near to the table, you're, you're good, yes, that's right. TV or table, you're good, yeah. And here, the mouse is standing, or is in the front of the table. What about this one? Who can give me a sentence about the third picture here? Who can give me an example about this one? Yes. Who can give me an example about this one? The mouse is standing next to the television. Correctly. Yeah, that's correct. Very good. Very good, Merhan. Yes. Next to. You can see here. Next to. The mouse is next to, to the TV. Yes, exactly. The mouse is at home, or the mouse is at home, he is at his home, the mouse at school, at school, he, uh, remember here, he used the preposition, uh, preposition at, then he add noun, at is the preposition, at work, at the theater, at the theater, the mouse is at the cinema, the mouse at the zoo. So until now, everything is clear. Give me number one if everything is clear until now. So that you know the meaning of uh, prepositions. Good. Merha, Mona, very good. What about Ala, Sultan? Very good, very good. Okay. So, preposition plus ing means the giant. ing means the Jawan. Preposition can be followed by nouns, pronouns. Pronouns like what? Who can give me uh, example for pronouns? So, you know the meaning of pronouns? Yes, ladies and gentlemen here. You know the meaning of pronouns? Any, any example, any example of pronouns, any example, any example of, uh, of pronouns. Uh, playing, this is an example of gerund. Playing is an example of gerund. You're right, you, you bring the verb, then you add ing, but what about pronouns? Uh, pro no, this is called as a auxiliary or holding verb, or verb to be is. Pronouns like I, we. You, they, he, she, hers, her, my, my. This called pronouns, okay? So, prepositions can be followed by nouns, pronouns, or gerunds, or gerunds. Okay. Look here, prepositions like for, gerund, like arriving like arriving the most important thing to know this is a jaran is the ing ing tell you that this word is a jaran okay the position for then the jaran arriving so you know the meaning of jaran now you know the meaning of jaran any 
verb, we add ing to a verb, then a change from a verb to a noun. This is called a gerund. Like arriving verb plus ing. Yes, give me examples. Give me examples of gerund. Uh, Miss Muna, she mentioned playing. Yes, playing football is, uh, is a good sport. That's correct. Playing, yeah. So, ala, merhan, basmala, sultan. Reading, yeah, that's good, Muna. Reading books. Reading books. Reading good, ala, yeah. What about merhan? Merhan. Are you with us, merhan? Basmala. Sultan, Sultan, can you hear me, Sultan? From the beginning, you. I don't know if you hear me or not, just press number one. Seeing, very good. Playing, very good, Sultan. Yeah, you are here. Very good. So, let's move to the next one here. Some verbs, some verbs are usually followed by certain prepositions. Specific prepositions, some verbs, like what? I apologize for arriving late. I apologize. This is the verb. This is the preposition for. Then arriving. This is the gerund. Late. I decided against wearing a uniform. I decided against wearing a uniform. Who can tell me where is the gerund in this, in this sentence? Sentence number two, where is the gerund? Who can tell me? Write to me the word, the gerund, in this sentence. Who can tell me? Where is the gerund in the second sentence? Yes. Wearing, yes, wearing. Very good, Mona. A very good, Ala. Yes. Number three, I look forward to meeting you personally. I look forward to meeting you personally. Number four, I insist on paying for our lunch. I insist on paying for our lunch. Notice, insist, insist, come, the, the correct preposition who comes after insist is on. Okay. Number five, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of. Now notice, um, there is something I want to say to you. Do you see this one? Do you see this one? This one. Can you see it? Amuna, Ala, do you see this word? Can you write this word in the text? Can you write this word in the text? Okay. Now, a lot of people pronounce this as off. As off. This is a mistake. It's not correct. It's incorrect. The correct pronunciation, the correct pronunciation for this word is of. As if you pronounce like this, of. Okay. So I'm thinking of moving to a new to a new house. So, number six. I succeeded in getting into college. Succeeded is a verb. And preposition getting is the gerund. Number seven. I'm dreaming of going on a vacation. I'm dreaming on going on a vacation. Number eight. I asked about applying for a job. I asked about applying for a job. Where is the preposition here? In sentence number eight. Where is the preposition? Ala, merham, basmala, mona. What is the preposition in sentence number eight? Yes. Who can write to me the preposition in sentence number eight? 
About, very good, very good, Ala. Yes, it's about. And this is the Bijan replying. Very good, Mona, very good. Okay. Now we finished from verbs. Let's come to adjectives. Who can give me an example of adjective? Any adjective. Any adjective. So that I know that you know the meaning of adjective. Can you give me an example of adjectives? Any word. Adjective. No. Adjective. Okay, I'll give you an example. An example for adjectives like, no, on, this is a preposition. On is a preposition. On is a preposition. But what about adjectives? Like, good. Good is adjective. Okay. Tall. Very good, Ala. Tall is an adjective. Yes. What else? Small. Very good. Small is an adjective. Yeah. What about uh, Mona? Merhan. Merhan. Are you with us? Merhan. Besmara. Supervisor. <laughs> okay. So, some adjectives are followed by certain preposition. I'm tired of... This is the adjective, tired. I'm tired of waiting for an answer. So, tired is followed by of. Number two, I'm used to having coffee at breakfast. Very good money, yes, that is a adjective. Uh, I'm used to having coffee at breakfast. What is the adjective here? What is the adjective in sentence number two? What is the adjective in sentence number two? Who can write it to me? Yes. Muna, Ala, Mahan, Basmala. What is the adjective word? I'm used to actually it's uh, used now it's used here yeah, the adjective I'm used used is the adjective he said here the adjective then the preposition this is the adjective used then this is the preposi uh, preposition I'm used to having coffee at breakfast okay Now we have activity, we have uh, activity, and hopefully that, uh, wait a minute, is this the answer? Okay, how uh, uh, can be? Um, okay, um, Number one, my friend is good space at that playing for volleyball. My friend is good at playing volleyball. Okay. What is the preposition in the first sentence? What is the preposition in the first sentence? At, very good. Actually, it must be exercised. Yes. Okay. She complains about bullying. So the correct preposition is about here. She complains about bullying. Number three. They are afraid of. Afraid of. This is the preposition. preposition losing the match. She doesn't feel like walking on the computer. She doesn't feel like, here like preposition, walking on the computer. We are looking forward, we are looking forward to going out of the weekend. We are looking forward to going out of the weekend. Actually, you must answer this, but uh, it was solved here. I don't know how. So... Uh, now, my question, do you know the preposition now? You know the meaning of prepositions? Muna, ara, 
مرهان بس منا يلا ولات My question, do you know the meaning of preposition? Do you know the meaning of preposition? Yes, like uh, like on, yes, preposition. Like as is a preposition. Do you know the meaning of gerund? Gerund, do you know the meaning of gerund? Very good, very good, Ala. Yes, very good. Very plus I and G. Yes. Very good. Okay. So this is the summary. Preposition plus gerund. Prepositions can be followed by nouns, pronouns, or gerunds. And the preposition like for. Gerund is arriving. Like arriving. This is the summary. And uh, some verbs are usually followed by certain prepositions. Some adjectives are followed by certain prepositions. These are the summary. And uh, we finish the lesson. This, uh, these are the references. Flying high, traveler, mega goal. And uh, thank you for your coming, my lesson. If you have any question, if you have any question, you can ask me. Uh, Miss Ala, Miss Muna, Miss Merha, Miss Basmala. Actually, the lesson is finished.